Hello, uh, welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. Uh, my name is Mara Finus. I'm a lab architect within Education Services Lab Team. In this Learning Byte, I'm going to show you how to automate Junos using Bash scripts. Okay, so what is Bash scripts and, and the benefits of using this method, right? Uh, so uh, Bash stands for uh, Born Again Shell. It's actually a Unix shell and command line language. And it is installed by default on most uh, Linux-based distributions. Same thing with the SSH, which is also available on almost all Linux-based distributions. It's familiar by most uh, server administrators uh, who are familiar with uh, you know, Linux servers. You always need to use SSH and Bash. It's, it's a common thing within the uh, server admins. And uh, there is no additional third-party tool is needed if you want to automate Junos with Bash. In most cases, you can just use Bash and SSH to do many system administration or configuration changes uh, that you want to do on a Junos device, which I'll be showing you a little bit. And, and you can expand always, uh, you know, based on your need. So without further ado, I'm going to go to my server environment and show you how I do it. So let me go to my server. So I have this uh, Linux server, which is running uh, CentOS right now. Uh, so I think it's running... Uh, release this is CentOS 7 doesn't matter any Linux distribution can be used Ubuntu CentOS or uh, whatever you you like uh, you can use that uh, to perform this task I have two VMX uh, routers on my environment so these are uh, VMX 1 I call it which is uh, configured with passwordless uh, key based authentication so basically uh, you can do that by following uh, we, we have a separate video to demonstrating how to do that and also you can google it up or even uh, juniper knowledge base has some article about that so if you are managing a lot of uh devices you can configure a uh, public key based authentication without so that you don't have to go through the login prompt every single time and you know enter the password it's very handy for automation tasks this device is configured with that uh and uh you know right now uh you know it has this uh SSH key authentication created and I have SSH services enabled as well so that's important as well for bash scripts to be able to log into this device and perform uh, tasks automation tasks so I have SSH authentication enabled with no password authentication so this one doesn't accept uh, password based authentication it's gonna only accept key based authentication for this uh, VMX okay and uh, what I'm going to be doing is add a name server entry into this uh, VMX as well as a description to an interface, which I will show you pretty soon. And the other one that I have, the other router that I have is VMX2. It's called VMX2. And that one requires password. So that I, I kept it as with password to show you uh, that the script will be able to handle. Uh, you know, you can use the script to also uh, connect to uh, Juno's device that has a uh, you know, password-based authentication. And in that case, the only downside is you have to, I have to enter password, right, when it asks for that. And then the commands will be run uh, through bash. Uh, okay, so uh, just to show you both scenarios. And I'm going to show you my script here, and it's called update devices SSH. So I created this update device, update uh, device S uh, shell script uh, using, uh, you know, editor, and you can use VI or GEdit, whatever you want to do. So this script basically tells in the first time it's a bash script, right? And these are my devices. I have two devices, VMX1 and VMX2. And the commands that I want to run on these uh, two devices, okay? Uh, is basically go to the configuration mode uh, because uh, I need to go to the configuration mode to be able to change the configuration. And then semicolon, basically send the next command is going to be set system name server with my name server IP. And then semicolon, the next command that I'll be running is... Uh, set interfaces, uh, you know, G000 description. It's an ISP interface, so that nobody deletes that. So add a description there. And then I will just show compare uh, to see what I'm changing and then commit, okay? That's it, that's what this script's gonna do. And it's gonna go to both of these uh, routers, connect to both of these routers through SSH, and then run these commands. So think about if I had 10 devices, I could do the same thing with 10 devices, right? Right now I'm doing a sequential mode, but you can do with the background mode as well by putting an ampersand but i'm going to do sequential mode uh you know to save uh so i can kind of moderate uh easily so that's exactly what the script is going to do it's going to look through these devices variable which will have these two devices 
and then uh, for each uh, device is gonna go through the uh, SSH and then run the command okay you could also put a device in a uh, list in a, in a file you could read through bash if you learn more about bash you can you know go more advanced but this is a very simple uh, way to do it okay and the best thing about bash is basically you know you can you can run uh, automation tasks you know quick and dirty like you know ad hoc so you, you have something you need you don't want to learn uh, anything else you don't know ansible or any other tools you just want to get it done right get your job done you can you can do through this method in many cases obviously if you have a very large environment we suggest you know you go for some advanced automation tool like ansible or anything else okay so i'm going to close it out uh, actually uh, save it because i think i may change uh, save it okay so uh, let me clear my screen and i'm going to run the script uh, so once i create the script i have to make sure the script is executable and you can do that by do shimod 755 update and that makes this script executable and then to run it i just do like this um, the device okay so it's going to work on the as you see it's, it's, it's running uh, working on vmx1 it made the change commit complete and then i can uh, go my vmx2 which is going to ask my password and it's going to do the same thing done okay so now i'm going to go to both devices and see that uh, verify if I if it did his task to configuration let's see if my uh, name server is there there you go name server is there let me make sure g00 yes it added that description uh, let me go back to the other one think about typing this in both routers manually right it will take some time if you have 10 of those it may take a long time right uh, and as I say you can go way advanced uh, with this uh, same approach if you want to be advanced right so you can do all kind of stuff so yeah it did it in both uh, cases so it added the description and the service added cool there you go so i hope uh, this video helps and thank you for watching visit the juniper education services website to learn more about courses view our full range of classroom online and e-learning courses learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.